And Renner Peeps, I wanted to show you a resource that is available through our Renner website and just making sure that you know that it's available. So today I'm going to show you how to use, uh, access and use Epic Books. So to get to Epic, I'm going to go to About Our School and then down to Media Center. So if you've never been to the Media Center part of the Renner website, there's a lot there. I hope you'll check it out. Uh, today I'm going to eBooks. Click on here, and then there are several different eBook types, but I'm going to show you how to use Epic today. So right here, I'm going to click on Epic, and then that is going to um, mostly be used by students where you can enter a classroom code. If you are uh, having, if you need to sign up for the first time, you click on Educators and then you can sign up for free and it is fantastic so there's a lot of information there to go through and you can sign in with Google it makes it super simple um, and so fast so I think you're gonna love it let me show you a little bit about what is there so once you get uh, signed into Epic one of the first things that you'll want to do is create your class you can do that in your dashboard and you can uh, create a quick um, CSV file which is similar to an Excel file and then just put in your students names first and last and that's pretty much all you'll need to enroll all of your students so I have 83 students enrolled right now because I have all of third grade and I'm not sure if there's a limit but um, so far, it doesn't seem that I've reached it. After I enroll all the students, I can also browse for books. I can search for a particular type. So I'm going to show you what browsing looks like. Browsing is kind of like browsing through the stacks in a library. And when the students sign in for the first time, they get to choose what types of books that they're really interested in. And then their browsing will show those books. So if they're interested in adventure, then that will show up if they're interested in uh, mystery that will show up. You can also search for books by title, um, author, keyword. Another thing that I love is I can build a collection of books. So if I am looking for books on uh, American, let's see, colonies, I can try searching for that. Okay, nothing's found, so let's just try colonies. And then I can see what books are already there, um, what collections other teachers have already created, and sometimes it includes videos as well. So um, these are some that other teachers have created. And so these are all the different books that are available. If I uh, like this collection and I want to keep it, I can copy it and then it will be part of my collection in my library. So uh, I think it's a fabulous tool. I created lots of collections in my library for students. Uh, right now, third grade, we're using Countries of the World. So I can collect and curate a selection of books that I want students to see. Because after I have created my student list and I have created and curated a, um, a group of books, then I can assign it to students so I can assign it to if I have groups of students like if you had reading groups you could assign it that way if you have a particular classroom then you can sign it that way so it's a really powerful tool that allows kids to access a lot of different materials and many of these books are read aloud to students even if they're not read aloud. And <laughs> Even if they're not read aloud, they can click on words to find out what the definition of it was, or at least the pronunciation. So, really powerful tool, and I hope that you'll give it a chance. If you have any questions about how to use Epic, please let me know. I'd be happy to assist you.